play some music though. Hopefully Twitch will I'm on the case. nail me for it. But the music I play tends to be pretty obscure. Submersion, pretty good uh, dub techno. Oh, we got that. There's a bug in the current version of the lead client that, while you're playing, it does that. So if I put the mouse corner, mouse player in the corner, it can. Uh, black out my screen, don't like that. Oh, two ADCs, oh no. Lee. Alright. No tanks yet. It's probably vain. Is that Jin Min? No, it would be Lux. Well, Lux can be support. Zyra can be support. No idea what that, what they're doing. Tom? He could be top. I don't know. We got Lucian. Oh, man, we got four ADCs in this game. It's not too loud. Because I need to work on talking quieter so that if my wife is sleeping, I don't wake her up while I'm talking. So a little bit more mic volume is probably in order. Oh, there's the $30 Lux skin. She can, it's like 10 skins in one. She can change between different elements. Looks pretty cool, actually. If I played Lux, I would have bought it, but I never, well, seldom play Lux. skin before I don't think. Well maybe once. Welcome to Summoner's Work for the 
mute on mic. I don't know why. got demoted to Silver 4, so I'm hoping to win this so I can get all my way back into Silver 3 where I belong. best not to make it any worse. Okay, their support got the kill, so that's one good thing, but it's still not cool. HCS to 18, not good. close in and getting myself killed. Let's see if he can use his relic shield on this, on the uh, cannon menu there. Yep, we got it, that's cool. Okay, so the problem here is that if anybody on their team damages me, I get a mark, and then if Jin hits me with that big long line, because I have the mark, I get stunned. Alright, I have to go back. Or they can uh, possibly kill me. <coughs> it's one of those situations where the most important thing for me at the moment is not to die. Call is an item that is a sort of long-term investment. Uh, you pay 450 for it, then you get plus 7 damage and plus 3 life per hit. It's not a percent life steal, just 3 life per hit. But each time you kill a lane minion, you get 1 extra gold. When you kill 100 of them, you can see the little 100 here, you get a bonus 350 gold, and then that disables. And then you can sell it for 180 gold. So you pay 450. For it, but then you get um, 530 back once you've completed it and sold it.
Okay, so bra. You see those little symbols that he puts on things when he damages them? They have four parts. If an enemy takes four uh, auto attacks while that symbol is active, it stuns them and deals some damage. When the mark is first applied, I think they're slowed, or maybe his Q, yeah, his Q applies one stack of that and slows them. But his auto attacks also apply it. So the cool thing about being Kate with Brom is that if we get stunned from his passive, then I can drop a trap on them and then get my free headshot, and then I can net the net hits and I get another free headshot. So they kind of eat a ton of damage. Yeah, I have to be careful because Brom is over here. It's on the loan. I don't want to be 1v2 as an ADC. Jin's ult. <clears throat> Camera zooms out for him so we can see really far and then he launches those projectiles which go straight. So he has to aim them. Lux was hoping I would come forward to shoot her with my headshot there. He flashed for that. This is really not going well. Okay, I've got enough for a little damage. Get that. And a couple of potions. I do the little net thing there to get to the lane about a half second earlier. Every little bit helps. That's something I picked up from one of my coaches. He said, it doesn't sound like much, but you should do it. And I said, you know, man, you're my coach. I'm not paying you to ignore the advice. So I've been doing it ever since. First turret, first turret is worth extra 300 gold split among the team, which is pretty cool. Now my minions are all here, and the turret is killing them. That means that my opponent is not getting minions, which is good. Okay, I'm backing off. People are warning me. They don't want me to die again because I've been playing really bad. Brahms warding the river, so we can see the dragon in the uh, bush over here, so which is cool. All I can do is bide my time and hope the rest of the team does well. You can see Lux has turned into Fire Lux now. Oh, oh, I try 
give this flash to him to get the shot to kill him and I miss. cool death animation. I don't know if you know, but in uh, Heroes of the Storm, the Blizzard game that's sort of like this, um, they have what are called ragdoll deaths. So as soon as a hero dies in that game, they replace it with a model that's a ragdoll, which means that it just has independent parts that are, that are loosely connected, and then they let physics um, govern the death animation. So it's not an animation, it's just in physics. And the person usually just kind of goes... Uh, flying away and then uh, they land and slow down as the physics would you know naturally do. In League, every character's animation, death animation, is handcrafted, which I personally prefer because it gives them more character. It's more work, but ultimately I think it's nicer. It's less likely to deal with weird things, like if you're on some stairs on this and you die, it means you're sort of laying flat into the uh, uh, into the ground because the death animation is not aware of the ground whereas a ragdoll animation will be able to use physics to not put you inside stuff or you know, pay more attention to what's on the map I still prefer the way these guys do it because it just, it just looks better be positive towards your team. When you do something nice, tell them you think it was nice. Helps keep the teamwork flowing. Rom was what we call tanking the turret. So he took the damage so that me and Luke could uh, get damage on the turret. And then as soon as the minions came up, Rom ran away so the turret would retarget the minions and leave and continue to leave me and Luke alone. Like preemptive tap traps and bushes like that. Sometimes the battle comes back to that bush, and then all of a sudden one of our opponents gets killed, gets uh, trapped, and they didn't really expect it because I left it there for like 30, 40 seconds before. It's pretty cool. Okay, we are pushing. Here we can. See that lobster on him? That was Tom Kench, who's a catfish, a gigantic, ugly fucking catfish, with a southern accent. He, uh, if he licks you or basic attacks you, he puts a, for a piece of the lobster on him. He gets three pieces, the lobster turns red, he gains movement speed toward you, and he can eat you temporarily. So he eats you. When he eats you, it slows him way down, and then he can spit you out wherever he wants, which is annoying. If his eat ability is up, he uh, 
he can eat his allies too. So just when you're about to get the kill, he eats them, and that gives him bonus speed, and then he can spit out his friends wherever he wants. So he's very good at rescuing people at the last second. Oh, there's Tom. Captain Tom telling you about. Killed the scuttler, which gives them this vision circle right here. So I'm heading up this way so they don't see me. I'm gonna range my ult. That was the stun I was telling you about. Now, one thing about Tom the catfish is that. Whenever you damage him, the health turns gray. If he doesn't take damage for a while, the gray health turns into real health at some prescribed rate. It's like 20 to 30 percent of it becomes real health. But if he clicks that ability, the gray health turns into a shield, which will burn off very quickly. But if it gets him to survive, then it's uh, worth using. Pretty good. He's seven and zero. Oh. I think we're gonna win this. I don't think it'll get me back in a series for Silver Three, but my next game would. All right, just sneak a trap right in there, in there, so people have a bigger way to get around if we decide to run away. Blue Kong's going in for more, so I'm following. is all very long range. Yeah, who's calling the monkey is temporarily invisible when he does that. for damage or anyway. I'm not much of a factor in this game. Closing ADC has two kills, I have zero. He has 102 CS, I have 71, but he's died seven times. I've only died four. Whoa, our least sin is 11 0. Uh, we call that carrying. Those two are basically doing all the work for us. I am not too proud to be carried, though. But as a wise player once told me, the first step in being carried is knowing how to be carried. And that means not feeding the opponents. If I had, say, 10 deaths, and Braum had 10 deaths, they would still be winning, because they would, the, the enemy team would have so much more gold than us. So if you spot that somebody in your team is going to carry, play conservatively, don't die, and make sure that they keep their lead. Like I'm I'm backing off because Zyra is right there and heading toward the turret. So I'm backing off so I don't get killed. And I'm heading in for the battle. I like to cut off people's escape route here by putting down two traps. That was close. 
Now he shoots that. Whew, he missed. I'm going back. I'm um, too low. Well, either he missed or I dodge. Take your pick. I'm more inclined to say he missed because I don't tend to dodge those very well because I kind of suck. It's strange to feel like you kind of suck. push bot lane in where I'm winning hard enough. And I can do this. I'm like that guy who when we're winning, sometimes the stuff that I do sort of just puts the nail in the coffin. It's not like I'm responsible for us winning, but I kinda help make sure that they don't have any root to come back. Escape route there. He ate the uh, our teammate there. Funniest thing he says when he eats an opponent and then spits him out, he says, Need salt. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab the red. anything. I have the for the Though he has better escapes than I do, so if he gets in trouble, he'll just leave me behind. can't hear you, what? I already did. I already counted them up. But what? No, I didn't say that. 
I didn't say I was missing one. I did not say I was missing one. Oh boy. Luke was not looking. Alright, so my coal thing is charged up and I can sell it anytime, make a profit. Anybody have armor? Ooh, Kench has a lot of armor. That was Lux's ult. Awesome. That was pretty good. Well, it didn't go off, so I get it back after 4 seconds. Because it has a channel. And if the channel doesn't complete, then I get it back.
We're not going to win. Your inhibitor is expelled soon. Just your turret has been destroyed. Your teammates back. <clears throat> Like we win. All five of them are dead. We got super and minions, we got Baron. damage though. I did not do well. Okay. Um, that's it for tonight. Or at least for now. <laughs>